Ooh, my sunscreen did not set. I still look purple. Ooh. Come on, sunscreen. Don't be doing me dirty like this. Seriously. Like, this is really their hustle. 18,000 rides and five star review. Oh, both his parents are born in Ireland. He likes people. Oh. I guess that's a good thing. Wanna wait outside? That's so cute. Comment down below. Iconic photo, hold on. Oh, it's so cute. All right, we're gonna have some. Mm. I think we're gonna try to rent a golf cart. We're gonna try to do bikes, but it's hilly out here. And neither of us are fast on a bike. <laughs> So we'll see the cost. So I think right now it's like $20 for two hours on a bike. So maybe a golf cart might be a little bit more affordable for the long term. Who knows? True. 400 hours, 30 hours, $40. Nice. Do you want to do all day? I'm doing good. Gonna be biking throughout around the whole I island, which should take, I think, just about an hour. The guy that we went to the bikes from was very friendly and thorough in giving us a map of the island and telling us where to go. I'll show ya. It's Brad and White Wyatt's Island Bike Rental. It's like thirty dollars for four hours or forty dollars for all day. And he was very like thorough in what we could see, where we can turn, where we can go off to. Very nice. So I'll show you the map.
battery steel. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> Her Siri keeps coming on. Oh, I'm ready to go back. Gotta get through a swamp plan, essentially. I'll show you what it's like walking through this thing. Yes. Ice cream is the correct motivation. This is cute. The realities of riding a bike in a hilly area. You have to just walk your bike up the hill. That is what I'm doing. Just walking it up the hill. What did we do? I just got us some coca, coca, coca hitos. Couldn't even say it. They're delicious. Here. We got coffee. Oh. Recommend this. <laughs> we got donuts. So that would be precarious. Yeah. I was like, how come you guys aren't sending us any pictures? Paddles. Oh, lots of paddles. Mmm. Yum. We're off to get some dinner, some dinner at the old port. <laughs> it's honestly such a beautiful day out. I napped for about two hours. I think Mel napped for like maybe less than an hour and then went outside. Honestly, the weather is so nice. Um, if you go to Peaks Island, you don't really need to spend all day there, I mean you can, but to bike around the entire island would take about an hour to two hours. Um, and you can like stop along the way, you can bike along, I mean we just did like the outer shoreline uh, route which takes about an hour to do for the entire island which was nice and then a lot of the business is like where you get pulled in by the ferry which is also really nice. So yeah. I mean, I think we spent about a total of four hours there. It was really, really, or maybe four to five hours there. It was nice. It was really good. It's a very cute little island. And then, yeah, I came back, took a nap, and now we're gonna go have pizza. I'm so excited to have the za. They have a vegan option, so I'm excited for that might get some ice cream so that should be more than 
delicioso. Cabs really hurt. Maybe I shouldn't have pedaled so fast. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, you were so much faster than I was. I knew I was going to be very slow because, I mean, I've been uh, right delicate. We're going gently uphill according to our uh, I don't think map. We got to the gently uphill part. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't think we got to the gently uphill part. But that uh, pizza that we just had was delicious. And now we're heading to the gross confectionery for some dessert. So that should be very delicious. But girl, let me tell you. I'm a peacock. I just said peacock. Girl, that thing is a seagull. <laughs> that thing was huge too. Um, but I am feeling this margarita. I'm hoping this walk will help me. Not getting tipsy off of one beverage. Yeah, we're, we're officially middle aged. Getting tipsy on one beverage, but that's okay. It was strong. It was I only strong. Had a six percent beer. Also, we're at sea level, so we should be beating. We should be doing better. Yeah. But also, like, we don't drink that often, it's so true. like. We don't have a very high tolerance. Yeah. We're not like drinking oh, till our livers. Children. Yeah, these children out here be drinking till their livers fall out. I don't understand oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Have you guys been here before? No. No? no. Okay, welcome. Um, if I was in 500, I want to spend it on like an artist. I want to try that cardamom too. Yeah, it is. I'm sort of crappy, but we don't need to spend a lot of time to try to crap. Just that one. Each guy is probably a baby. All right. It is another day done and dusted. Um, so. The pizza place that we went to was delicious. They have a lot of like white-based pizzas, which just means like olive oil with salt and pepper. And they have a few goat cheese options for uh, pizza that are just delicious. And you can like add stuff to your pizza pretty easily. I got the one with peach, reduced balsamic, uh, and basil and then I just added um oh and goat cheese and I added some bacon to it and it was very delicious and then I had the coconut margarita and that was delicious <laughs> a little strong because I kind of felt it and then we went to the gross confection bar and it's like a dessert bar they also do like mixed drinks but I already had that margarita so your girl was not gonna have another one but the uh, dairy-free options are kind of limited to sorbet, which is totally fine. I don't mind that. Um, they do have a goat cheese. Uh, they have a goat cheese cheesecake, but it has a little bit of milk in it from a cow. So if you're willing to risk it for the biscuit, go ahead and have it. I am not one of those people who is like, oh, a little bit is okay. No, like usually butter is fine for me. Um, can have aged cheeses, but like, mm, I try to stay away from it uh, as much as possible. So I don't really have cow uh, dairy at all, but uh, Melanie had the, what's it called, carrot cake. And it was like a deconstructed carrot cake and it looked really delicious. And it had dolce de leche. Dolce de leche with some jam and some other thing, but it looked beautiful and like really nice. And then I had the blood orange sorbet with dark chocolate uh, gelato. Uh, no, I had blood orange gelato with dark chocolate gelato that was dairy free, and they had like this goat cheese one 
Um, I didn't get that. I just got the blood orange and the dark chocolate. And it was so good. It was so delicious. Um, and, like, the entire vibe of the place was just, like, really nice and pretty. So I highly recommend those two places. If you are in Portland, Maine, in the Old Port area, go there. Because, but like, the pizza place and the dessert bar... 10 out of 10. It was so delicious. So good. Um, and yeah, I think uh, there was like lots of games playing on at the pizza place. I think it was like Brickyard or something. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really, really good. And the wait time was like a lot less than the one that would have been off the pier. The one that we were going to try to go to was going to be like an hour and a half wait. Whereas this one was like a 20 minute wait, which is totally fine. Um, and yeah, the food was just fire. Like, and we had asked our waitress where to go for dessert and she recommended the gross confection bar. So like she gave a really good recommendation. Uh, we both really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, um, after we came back from the island, I literally took a two hour nap. <laughs> I just kept, like, every time I woke up, I was like, oh, it's no time yet. So I'm gonna, like, nap more. It just didn't feel like enough. Um, but it was fine. Like, I got a lot of rest. And I sound a lot better. I feel like each day I sound so much better, uh, which is great. But, anyways, if you've made it to the end, thank you so much for sticking around and watching and joining Melanie and I on our adventure. Uh, I hope that you have a good day or night wherever you are. I hope you get to do something that you like or love for at least five minutes today. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!